I've never said Brock Purdy was trash. I never said Brock Purdy was a bad player, but Brock Purdy took his team downfield and got three points in overtime. But that guy, Pat Mahomes, took his team downfield and got six points when his team needed it most. So that is a key difference of what I say. Brock Purdy is not that guy because that guy wins ball games. That guy makes sure the job gets finished no matter what. That guy is going to make sure his team finishes out on top. So to me, yes, Brock Purdy's good, but he's still not that guy like I've been saying all season. He's a good quarterback. Don't get it twisted at all clearly he played pretty good in the super bowl he made some key throws when he needed in the, in the uh, nfc championship game he also made some key throws that were very very crucial at that time so kudos to him but at the end of the day rock purdy is still not that guy the guy you got to make a game plan game plan for the guy you have to really really sit down and go with your defense and say okay this guy is going to be a problem when we go against him no he's not that guy and as far as the new england or the uh kansas city chiefs look i'm getting them mixed up because they both great teams <laughs> andy Reid, pat Mahomes, travis kelsey our dominant trio I told you they're the modern day Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and Bill Belichick. Those guys are amazing. I love how they picked apart the Niners defense on that last drive down the field. And the main question here is, can the Kansas City Chiefs get a three-peat? I think the Kansas City Chiefs can for sure get a three-peat because nobody expected them to go all the way to the Super Bowl this year when they looked at the beginning of the season, the middle of the season, and even at the end of the season. People didn't expect them to beat the Miami Dolphins. People didn't expect them to beat the Buffalo Bills. People didn't expect them to beat the Baltimore Ravens. All of the best teams in the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs, defeated them. If you would have named any team, you asked any random person in the beginning of the season, hey, who do you think is going to the Super Bowl? They would have named either the San Francisco 49ers, the Baltimore Ravens, the Miami Dolphins, or the Buffalo Bills. One of those teams would have been named, and I guarantee it. But guess what the Kansas City Chiefs did? They defeated each and every one of those teams. So you have to give those guys some credit for that. They're underdogs, but like I said, you keep judging them way too early in the beginning of the season. They get bored. It's what you do when you continue to win over and over again. Sometimes you get a little bored. You get a little relaxed because, I mean, it doesn't hype you up as much. So when you go play a big game down deep in the playoffs and, and the intensity is there, it's a win or go home. The stakes are higher. Of course, you're going to perform a little bit better. So absolutely. I think the Kansas City Chiefs can three-peat. They didn't have a chance this year. People counted them out this year. Next year, it's going to be the same thing. It's a lot more competition going on. You still going to have the Ravens, who's their top dogs. I would love to see them go on and go to the Super Bowl, beat the Chiefs, but it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to get past Pat Mahomes. I would love to see the Dolphins go there. I would love to see another team team from the NFC the Detroit Lions win a Super Bowl but it's hard to beat Pat Mahomes when you have to go against him they'll those guys at the Kansas City Chiefs they take things game by game week by week and they prepare very very well so it'll be tough to defeat them you know when you're looking weeks ahead or it'll be it'll be yeah it'll be tough to defeat a certain team looking weeks ahead but when you actually sit down, take it game by game, and think about what we got to do, make them on-the-fly adjustments, the Kansas City Chiefs, they're always going to be a factor as long as Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid is there. I know Travis Kelsey is on the verge of retirement, but as long as Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid, they're definitely on the verge of, of doing something special.